welcome back to my channel. I wanted to start this um, intro with a little car talk because I feel like that's what I've been doing with my videos. I feel like this is kind of like my thing, if you know what I mean. And I just like the lighting in the car for some reason. I like that you just, it's just so much brighter in the car and there's no filter needed. So a little debrief on what I want to show you guys. Um, I wanted to try something new. I wanted to take you along with me through this process because I'm such a DIYer. Like I try to do my own thing on my own. I, li I like tr I like trying to do things on my own. And I mean, obviously you guys know that I do my own nails. Like there's just a couple of stuff that I've been doing on my own. My toxic trait is thinking I could do all things beauty on my own when it takes like another person to do it for you, if that makes sense. But I wanted to show you guys in this video of me trying out lash extensions and applying them on my own. So I mean, I've done my research, I've looked at reviews, and... I mean, I feel like I've, I'm confident in the products that I've ordered and I'm not making any promises that it's going to turn out good and I'm kind of nervous but I'm also excited. I am on my way home for lunch. I'm going to make a sandwich. If For those of you who don't know, I live like 10 minutes away from work um, so usually on my lunch breaks I go home make some sandwiches I have leftovers kind of saves me a couple you know buckaroonies instead of buying lunch every single day but um yeah that's what I'm doing right now and um it has been so it has been like maybe three four months since I've last vlogged um and that's okay I mean a little filler I didn't really do much one exciting thing that I do want to share is that we went to Coachella. Vaughn and I experienced our first Coachella festival. And honestly, we've had this conversation together and we came down to a conclusion that Coachella was the festival that we never knew we needed. Um, I loved it. And I mean, the lineups were actually cool. Not a lot of people were thrilled about the lineups, but I think I was pretty excited about Blackpink, that's for sure. I love Blackpink. I've heard their music before, but seeing them, you know, in person, live, it was chef's kit. It was great. It was, it was really good. And so, yeah, that's, I feel like that's pretty much the main thing that I've done for the past couple of months. I've been working, oh! So, another thing I do want to say and I'm very proud of myself for it. I lost 10 pounds. And I know it may not mean a lot to you, but it meant a lot to me when I saw the scale. Okay? So we've been going to the gym, been doing a lot of like strength training, pelotoning. My diet is still kind of the same. Like I still peg out from time to time, but I would say my portion control is a lot more disciplined. And you know, I had to cut out the late night snacks which was a struggle for me because I love my late night snacks. But anyways, it's been, it's been, it's been calm. Like the last couple of weeks have been calm. Jackson's been good. I just got home. Okay, so this is where we're currently at right now. I kind of took a leap of faith because I was like a little too excited, but also like really nervous trying to get in the mood of like wanting to do my lashes i wanted to film this like from the very beginning but i kind of just i kind of just got started without it but here i wanted to show you anyways like how it looks so far and i kind of i kind of like it i wanted to add a little bit more um in between the sparse areas um but what do you think i kind of like it maybe this might be like my new Thing, like just doing 
not only my own nails but my own lash extensions now but I'll show you what I'm using I got this Veyes premium lash extensions I don't know if they're like mink but I got the one where it has like the variety of sizes the 8 millimeter to the 16 millimeter length um but for the most part I'm pretty much using like the 12 and the 13 on the outer corners and then like the 10s and 11s in the inner corners um but I kind of think I might go shorter next time these are a little too long for what I um was thinking but they do look okay so I'll show you how I applied them um but yeah so that's the lashes that I used the glue is also um not also but the glue that I use is Ardell and so I before I even like bought the lash glue I kind of did my own research in terms of like what lash glue works best like as far as applying them by yourself because I read a lot of reviews um, like on using professional lash glue and a lot of the reviews and like instructions says says not to you know apply it yourself this is like for professional use obviously and I'm no professional at all but Ardell Lash Tight um, I think is a really good one for beginners because there's no fumes it doesn't really irritate your eyes at all like my eyes are fine um, and also like they're not as the only thing is that they're not as permanent as professional use glue for me I think the longevity of it is fine because I have at least I have the glue and I have the lashes to reapply by myself so I think that's also like a perk like for example if you get your lashes done by you know a lash tech you would have to go in to get a fill like you can't just pop it on at home if you don't do your lashes by yourself does that make sense? I don't know. I'm just rambling. So what I kind of do is drip a little bit of the glue onto the napkin. It's not really a blob, but whatever. Uh, okay, if I have to review these tweezers, though, I have to admit, like, these don't have to be that sharp because these can, like, stab somebody. If you get any, like, really sharp tweezers be careful if your hands are not steady do not do this or i don't know i'm literally thinking about like hammering these bees down because this is so sharp for what like dude like you could can you see that bro like like do you see how it like tugs on my i know that was blurry but you saw that anyways let's just get started here I start back here this little and I don't know if you can see that see that that's a little open I think also the hardest not the hardest part well yeah the hardest part is really trying to make these fans because these I don't know if you can see that too like my camera is just not in focus okay 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 I don't know where you're going but there do you see that there there we go like I think the hardest part is just making the fans but YouTube says to pinch I'm a pinch yeah dude this is the hardest part uh, I mean unless I like pull it really nicely from the get-go then usually it's a good fan but I think this is I think that's a good fan okay so what I'll do is like dip it and by any means I'm not telling you to try this I'm just showing you how I'm learning and my journey through them you can follow you could just watch Hmm. 
then I kind of just like separate it for at least at least 10 seconds. Yeah. Dry it up. can't do that one that one's bugging me okay so new technique see this is I'm just learning as I go um what I'm gonna do is I kind of I also saw this on YouTube um the way that this lady was dipping her glue hold on and she would just dip it like that she just dip it in, get like a good consistency on the tips. I think another hard part is this side because I feel like I have to like angle it a little differently than this side is an easy like application this one I kind of have to like twist and turn which I don't know is a little hard for me but for the most part it's okay like again oh little miss lash fell already but that's okay that's why we comb it out I'm gonna replace that fallen lash and again i'm gonna reiterate that i'm not telling you how to do your lashes at home i'm showing you my journey and what is working for me but by no means am i a professional this is literally my first time trying Ugh. see yeah i feel like the hardest part is really just making the fans these fans are hard. So difficult. I don't know why the left part is left side is so hard. It's just the angle. Like I don't know. I can't get it right. I cannot get this left side right. Oh, we'll see. And also, thinking about it now, like, I feel like fills are a little more difficult than, like, just popping them on the first time. Because, I mean, like, when I didn't have lashes at all, it was easy to just spot a lash and just cling on to it. But this one, while it's more fuller, it's a little hard to find um like the available lashes to attach to like you have to kind of just separate them so i'm learning i'm learning i think it's easiest so far and i mean it's like my first time so i'm just getting used to trying to put them on trying like i've never lash mapped and I don't think I'm going to learn we'll see because I'm literally just like popping lashes on hoping for the best it's kind of like my motto right now <laughs> so it's working it's working more over here but a boom It works. 
It works. Take this off. Okay. I'm just gonna close this and sit for like 30 seconds so it can kind of stay stay moist and liquidy. Think what you think. Comment below if they look decent, if they look okay, what I need to work on, or straight up, girl, don't do it again. Like, I need to know, and I value your opinion. I really do. I kind of like it. So far, not bad. <laughs> I'm just going to put my hair up. And then I can also, like, throughout the week, I'll give you updates on, like, how it's going because, you know, the viewers need to know. But I don't want to add too much to where it's going to look unnatural. So, I think that's good for that one. Yeah, let's move on. Let's go to the right. Let's go to the right. Ah! I'm going to add one more to that. I can. Uh, I'm gonna leave that. I'm just gonna leave her. You do you, boo. All right, let's add some in the middle here. This looks a little sparse. Ooh, a little too sparse. Let's do a leppings. Perfect. If you're wondering how long this has been taking me, um, I started maybe about like an hour and a half ago. So I feel like about two hours, one hour each eye. Um, I've heard so many like reviews saying like it took all night. Um, this one girl, it took her four hours on one eye and four hours on the other eye. So. A total of eight hours I cannot I well I think that was the main reason like I was freaking out is because after I heard that and like how long it took this one lady I was just like I'm gonna pay for the convenience of getting it done for like an hour and a half but I mean I tried it doesn't hurt to try right how do I do An 11. There it is. Mm-hmm. I am vlogging my lashes. 
Is that yeah. But I closed the door because all I hear in the background is, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what happened? No! So I think this is the final look. What do you guys think of the lashes? Like this eye more than I do like my left eye. I don't know, I feel like it's just, this side was kind of easier to apply as far as like fanning out a little bit more. And then my left eye is kind of a tilt. I have to like reposition myself all the time as far as like angles. For my very first time applying lash extensions, I think I did a, pre a pretty decent job. So, tell me what you guys think. If I can zoom in a little bit more, but I think for my very first time applying lash extensions, they don't look too bad. They do look a little bit longer than I would prefer, but I mean, I might just go smaller like shorter um for next time but yeah i just wanted to show you guys do like a weekly review and i'll show you like how it's holding up as far as like the retention um and the longevity of these lashes so yay i'm kind of excited i like it